We recently ran an article on drawing lumber, and one subset of drawing lumber is thermally modified lumber, where it's heated in a oxygen-deprived environment, and it basically kind of toasts the wood. It turns it brown. So for instance, on this little piece here, this is red oak, I believe, or uh, what used to look like red oak, and is now a super nice chocolate brown. Um, so in terms of you know, the holy grail of getting color in wood without dyeing and staining, without fuming with ammonia, um, and having color that penetrates the entire lumber so we don't have to worry about sanding through anything, this is pretty cool stuff. So I wanted to give it a try. I grabbed a board and just did what I am apt to do, which is just cut some dovetails and some boards just to see how things planed, milled, how it worked with hand tools and power tools. And um, in short, uh, I'm guessing the drying process um, makes the wood brittle. Um, certainly much lighter than I think of red oak being. So um, the brittleness comes into play really when I was cutting joinery and that when I was doing my typical hand sawing and chopping with the dovetails, I had a lot more chip out than I'm accustomed to. I didn't modify my techniques at all to take into account. So I'm thinking that if I do want to work with this in the future, and I think I will, uh, I need to take some care in how I go about doing it with that understanding. The other thing I noticed is I had two shorter partitions and both of them cracked when I was kind of just working them with a marking gauge. I don't know if there was some sort of internal check that I didn't see, that's quite possible, or if the wood is actually pretty fragile in terms of being careful with thin parts um, if they're wide enough that they don't break. Um, so there are some caveats there, but I do like the look. Uh, this is unfinished, and this piece here just has a couple coats of blonde shellac on it, and it is a dark color, um, but it also has kind of some red hues coming through, and it really reminds me of a traditional stickly finish where there might be you know, a fume finish, maybe with a red or orange dye underneath with a darker stain on top. And as the years go by and that dark stain tends to wear and it starts to bring up these kind of orange or red highlights, this reminds me of that. And I think that's pretty cool. That was always a look I tried to get and was never able to duplicate successfully. So there could be something there. Here's a little box I had made a number of years ago from the same material. Um, obviously before my dove's tail started sticking out too much, but it's held up really well. Uh, it's really, really pretty. This is basically that um, uh, toasted oak in conjunction with a little brown oak top. But uh, I, think it's, I think it's nice. The one thing is it smells like a campfire. I mean, your whole shop, if you're milling this stuff, it's just super, super toasty. It's a little obnoxious. Um, I'm sure I would get used to that. So yeah, thermally modified woods are a thing and you might want to check them out.